Today, I want to share five simple ways to use chromatic lines in diatonic writing to make things more interesting. If we stick to scale tones from the common seven tone scales, we can't write chromatic lines. And if we write chromatic lines, we can't put them on a scale. See the problem? We solve this by doing things sequentially and everything fits together perfectly. Start with scale tones or chromatic lines. It works both ways. Let's look at some examples. Just for reference, we wrote this in the key of A major. Let's listen to the diatonic side first. Let's make it more exciting and use chromatic lines that flow into the last notes, either from above or below. Both ways work just fine. Great, I like it. And that's our first point already, chromatic runs. On to the next, let's look at a motor, which is pretty much like what we have here in the lower strings. And in the context of motors, both approaches work perfectly together. Let's listen to that. Actually, here's even another thing. We can use substitute tones and replace the original notes with chromatic neighbors. So let's put this down on our list. Similar to replacing notes, we can add the chromatic neighbors and write leading tones. While leading tones move chromatically into the note, substitute tones replace the note. That's the difference between the two. Now, here comes my favorite. I simply love a chromatic root line that leads into the tonic of the next section. That technique works brilliantly for introductions or endings. Yeah, love it. That's our five points. Now I want to share the full piece from which I took the examples. I call it the train and I hope you like it. Many thanks for watching. If you want to level up your composition skills and sound unique, we're here to help. Have a wonderful day and best always.